I try to hide it as much as humanly possible and deal with it myself because, you know, I don't want people to leave in my life that or think I'm weak. I always forget the year, uh, but I was I was hit by a drunk driver um, touring in a, a band called Love She Wrote at the time in Fort Lauderdale, Miami area, and uh, the drunk driver, uh, 27, hit me in a Civic. Uh, and we were in a tour van, and only me and the drummer were in there because we had dropped everyone else off. And he hit us going the wrong way on I-95, and you know, and he was ejected and uh, killed immediately. Um, and we spun and spun out and. My drummer at the time um, was tangled in the seats. Um, so he broke his spine, he broke a lot of different things. So when I had woke up, I woke up holding my mouth because um, all my teeth were knocked out and um, it cut through here uh, to do it. And um, I broke my arm upon impact. And I remember seeing my drummer, but I couldn't really respond because everything was ringing. And I ended up getting out of the vehicle and I was bleeding a lot, and um, I slipped um, in the remains, unfortunately, of the person that had hit us. So not only am I bleeding myself, but now I'm looking like Carrie covered in someone else's blood and walking on a highway. Um, so um, luckily, luckily, you know, the ambulance came quickly because I had, before they came, I was, I was, I had died. Uh, they resuscitated me. Um, Immediately, so when everyone asks about death, I can't really answer that much. It was too quick, but I, I was, you know, put into the ambulance and had a two-year recovery. Uh, I used to be very gung ho uh, as a child. Like if you, if you were to, I was an adre adrenaline junkie. Uh, that changed uh, after this. Uh, you learn, you learn what it's like and how much life is worth uh, when you don't have it anymore. So that situation kind of tore me up. I mean, I'm, I, I have never recovered from that. I, I still have from that massive anxiety, anxiety where if I don't have a drink, um, it doesn't sound an everyday thing where I have a drink, but if I don't have one, say to fly or long trips or stuff like that, I get dread uh, to the point where um, I think I'm going to die. Uh, I feel that feeling, and I'll have to call uh, people that are close to me and ask them for advice. Am I dying? Yeah, obviously they don't, they don't know. Uh, but I have that, I want to say 95% of my life uh, now is, is that feeling. If I feel something off, I think I'm heading down the rabbit hole of death. Uh, that's, that's one thing, uh, coupled with I have a severe OCD now with germs and all this stuff uh, that I never cared about before. So that was exacerbated by the pandemic, obviously. And that for me was insane. Um, that was just the worst thing that can happen to me. And everyone around me suffered because of that, because I became neurotic. Uh, and I'm a creature, I'm a weird creature when it comes to that too, because some things bother me a lot, like washing your hands. And then other things like, oh, going to record a record during the pandemic didn't mean that, you know, I could do that, but I couldn't do that. And it was very, uh, I want to say maybe compartmentalized in my head, what, what, what certain aspects were bad and what were not. That is what I deal with daily. Um, I drive everyone crazy with that. And, you know, it, it's terrible because, you know, with relationships and such, it's, uh, you know, I've become the boy that cried wolf. You know, in, in, in terms of you know certain terms, um, and you're you're kind of weighing the intensity of your anxiety at that point. You know, you're on a scale. You're like, okay, is this a ten? Because if it's not, just shut up and get through it. <laughs> like, do what you have to do to get through it. But if it's a ten, you're gonna have to say something, and you dread the ten. You know, it's like because you know that you're gonna look insane saying what you're going to say you're like I have this feeling in my head do you think I'm having an aneurysm you know like and they're like no you know I'm I'm losing that rock star luster to them you know they're just they're just like wow this guy is not what I thought he was but if you look down the line of people that are in this industry or similar to myself there are a lot of very very similar people that deal with this 
at each level of it. So it's not like you're alone dealing with it, but when you are by yourself or with your loved ones, it, it does feel very lonely. Your heart's in now.